A oh, good day everybody. We're going to do a little bit of an update today. Probably the last update we'll do for a while. We're going to just focus on repairing the truck and the RV and uh, focus on the mission, which is getting delayed again, obviously. I don't have a ride anymore. Working on a new truck that needs some uh, a lot of things done before I can drive it. So I'm relying on rides again and that's delaying things. The weather delays things. We had a few hundred degree days. Got as high as 104 actually. So yeah, heat, rain, too windy to weld. Waiting on parts for eBay right now on the RV, actually. Waiting for some locks for the doors. Uh, if, that, if those don't get here soon, I might actually just go ahead and install the RV door handles. I'm not sure yet. I'm a little tired of waiting on parts to come in the mail. So I might just, I might change up that plan a little bit. But anyway, RV's waiting on parts right now. I've got parts in town I need to go pick up, but uh, no ride today. Maybe I'll get a ride tomorrow. If not, hopefully on the, you know, during the weekend. Working on it every day that I can, but yeah, lots of delays this year, just like last year. You know, sold Jimmy, that helped out a lot, but also cost me my ride. So we're looking at delays again, but that's okay. I've been told as long as I'm making progress, I don't have to worry, but I'm still going to try and uh, do as much as I can before the end of the year, before the rain comes back. Um, I still have my, I'm still looking good for getting the RV uh, exterior finished, or at least primed and hopefully painted before the rain gets here, and then I can just work on the interior during the rainy season. And we can keep progress on the RV going. I definitely have other projects to keep me going. Working on the truck right now. Need my ride to town. So that's gone up the list on priority. It's right up there with the RV. RV is still going to get done before, or well, the exterior is still going to get done before the rain comes. Hopefully, I don't have too much left to do. So we're looking good on that, but uh, yeah, not making the deadline for getting out of here, unfortunately. That's all right. We've got lots to do. So stay tuned. We got a truck video coming up. If you can't tell, we're working on that. Um, and if uh, we're not mo if we're not driving around in the RV by the rainy season, we'll start taking the truck into town. I need to go up to Washington and finish. You know, I got. It's where I live, so I need to get back up there, get my mail, conduct business, and maybe do a little work, get back to some temp jobs, possibly, I'm not sure yet, we're still looking good for funds on repairs and things like that, so I'll be busy a little while. Picked up a bunch of stuff for the truck to get uh, get old Rusty here fixed up, so I can start taking him into town, and I wait quite a few days waiting on rides to town, and waiting for parts to come in the mail, waiting for a ride to go pick him up. So, truck's gotta, gotta get this truck going good. So stay tuned for that. Uh, also, the truck will be really handy for the eBay sales. Still gonna get a new sticker pack, or new set of stickers, and do a sticker pack. And also sell some of those souvenirs. Also got a bunch of other stuff I could probably sell. So yeah, truck will be good. And uh, we'll get, uh, get Rusty going here soon, hopefully. Things are really rusted up on old Rusty. These wheels do not come off. Easy at all, as you will see in the upcoming video. Uh, yeah, our, the RV handles I didn't use on the RV. I could throw things like that on the eBay, and that would be helpful. And uh, yeah, like I said, worst case scenario, I'll go back and start working a temp job. But uh, things are doing okay. Things are good as long as I'm staying busy putting up videos. Thank you, everybody, for watching the videos and commenting. I appreciate all of you. What else we got here on my little list? Oh yeah, the but yeah, my budget as well. I'm all, some days I'm waiting on payday to come to get parts for things. So there's been a little delay with the budget constraints. So yeah, this year isn't too. I wish it was a little more productive, but not too bad. Not too bad. If I had a covered area, a warehouse out of the weather, I'll bet you I could have gotten this RV done within eight months, a year maximum. Eight hour days on that thing, out of the weather, no delays, easily. Easily could get that done in eight months. Next one I build will be in a warehouse. There's no way I'm doing this again out in the weather. The heat, the rain, the wind, the bugs. So a lot of struggle. Still dealing with the insomnia. But I'm still up every day. So got a lot to do. Thankfully we're just down to one truck to work on. and uh, Ham radio stuff. Ham radio stuff is on hold. I was really into that the last time we were out boondocking some build a J-pole antenna and I still really want to do that. Um, but yeah, I just don't have the... I almost finished the book. Now I kind of just reread the first... I've been rereading the first chapters and every once in a while just getting back into it a little bit. You know, just because it's really interesting. I really want to get into this, but, you know, the RV got black and gold and then I realized that was way worse than it actually was. Walls were rotted. Frame was rotted. 
black mold was everywhere. So, it, yeah, I had to put this on hold. But we will get back to it at some point. Still got the ham radio in storage. Can't wait to install that in patches 2.0. So stay tuned. We'll get back into ham radio stuff. Sounds like a lot of fun. Took a little trip back to the storage unit in Vancouver to get a few things, including a tow bar. I've had this for years, probably since uh, since the beginning, 2014. The idea was to stick that on my Honda Civic, but it never really happened. I had to sell the Honda. Uh, but yeah, a simple tow bar, 5,000 pound capacity. And then go right on rusty. We tow him behind patches. So we got that there, and that is part of the plan. I hooked that up. I just need to get me uh, like a braking system RV to tow car. Braking system for that truck, because uh, I don't want to try adding that much weight to the RV uh, without setting up the braking system on the truck for being towed. Things are kind of hectic around here. We had new gutters put in. Don't those look nice? They had like six to ten work. There's a bunch of people here working on those gutters. They were done in like, I don't know, it was like six hours. It was crazy how fast they worked on those. So, yeah, I got my thing. Got everything moved around. It's kind of cra crazy. Looks like they forgot one of their measure tapes. Or is it broken? Um, yeah. I did some weed eating the other day. Pop out around here a little bit. So yeah, things are busy. We got lots coming up. Unfortunate that I had to stay here for so long. I was hoping to be out the first year, but rides, weather, everything. It was just not possible to get it done that fast with this situation. But uh, things will pick back up once I have the truck going and I have my own ride. I go to the post office, pick up my parts, go into town to the auto parts store. AutoZone should have my stuff ready by now. Got a ride yesterday. I did get some parts for the truck, but other parts they had to order in, so I need to come back and get those. at and if I just get the outside painted I'll be good for the rain and then I can work in here insulating things running wires finishing the floor oh so the Montana mission is still a go probably not gonna happen until next year I also want to get back to Washington take care of a few things and while I'm there Start making trips to Montana and get used to the area. Figure out where I'm gonna put, get my PO box and all that stuff. Yeah, so not getting up there on time, but I do wanna get up there before the next election cycle, whatever you call that. That's the new deadline, I guess, before the end of 2024. So by December of 2024, before the snow comes next year. That's my goal, but who knows? Day by day. One day at a time, one month at a time, paycheck to paycheck, we'll get it done. Get these cabinet doors done soon, sheeted, finish welding, and then uh, we get prime. Not too much left to do for that. So yeah, no, things are actually going really good. Lots coming up, everybody. Thank you for being patient. It was not the original goal to be in this situation. We started that uh, crowdfunding for, uh, you know, as a way to save the channel, because once I realized the RV had black mold, I realized that was going to be the end of the, uh, yeah, I didn't know what to do at that point, so. My main goal was to get a home base, uh, originally Christmas Valley, Oregon, that's where I was looking in the start, in the beginning. Then I started looking in Arizona, but yeah, in the beginning it was property. I wanted to have a home base, a base of operations. The RV was riddled with black mold. I was going to cover it up with some kills primer and seal it up and just get the RV there and then I could finish working on it and tear it down. I knew I couldn't keep living in it. I was getting really sick. So the main goal we was to get property, just get out of the RV and sleep in a tent if I had to, but I also knew that there would probably be some uh, 
code enforcement possibly or restrictions or something that might hang me up so this bus was a secondary idea if the property didn't work out i'd get the bus but the buses were you know fifteen thousand dollars around there and uh, we didn't make our goal for the crowdfunding so i built my own bus I like the idea of a bus because it's strong and sturdy and so that's yeah kind of what I'm accomplishing with patches I didn't think I didn't think at all that this is what I'd be doing I'd rather have gone with the school bus idea but I'd still be saving up for that idea there'd be no videos so patches this was a good idea it kept the videos coming and it's uh, I'm rebuilding a, a good solid home for me for the channel where I can conduct Recording and editing and new home for class A living. This is going to be a, something that lasts a long time. I can, the body will last forever. If I have to later on, easy to switch out the trans, get a new motor. I am making this thing very easy to work on in the future. That's probably why I'm not putting the cabinets back on. I love having the ground clearance. I love being able to get underneath and work on it easily. So patches is the bus. I was thinking I would just fix up the black mold and then get to a property, but yeah, that was, uh, I needed, you know, we didn't really have enough for that either. I could have gotten the property, could have gotten there, but then I would have had a moldy RV and no right to town. That probably would have been a failure. You know, the channel was not looking so good because uh, I didn't have anywhere to live, and I knew that was going to be it for the channel, for the videos. So, it worked out. We kept the videos coming, kept the channel alive. That was the main goal with the crowdfunding. So, yeah, here we are now. Can't wait to finish it. Got a lot to do, but uh, not much left to do to finish to, to paint. And then I can work through the rain, and, and it won't be too many delays anymore. Be out of the wind. Put the windows in, and I won't have to worry about the bugs. All right, so this will be the last update, unless something changes. From here on out, it will be just repair videos and a vlog here and there. Might even get Patch's face put back on before the rain gets here. I want to see what that looks like. Stay tuned. All right, you guys. One last big thanks to everybody who pitched in on the Give, Send, Go crowdfunding to help keep the channel alive and going. You all helped get the project started, saved patches, gave her a new life. I have also pitched in about 2,000 of my own bucks, so I am fully committed that I'm going to do what it takes to get here going again. going to be one solid RV and a great home for Class A living to thrive and keep the videos coming. So yeah, $7,000 so far, give or take a few hundred or so. I haven't really been keeping track. Uh, could have bought an RV, yes. A lot of people want to point that out. That was not part, that was not the goal though. And apologies to those who really wanted me to stick with the original idea but it was it was more about saving the channel and keeping the videos coming we also had other people suggesting me just getting an rv but that was really not part of the plan i really i wanted to get uh, the channel in a better situation than it was before if i was going to invest that kind of money a uh, home base would have been great would have kept uh, it would have gave me and the rv a place to retreat to if i needed a break or if the rv needed some work done but you know we didn't make that goal and i wasn't really prepared for everything involved with that and thankfully it didn't happen because I would have ended up in Oregon and that's just not where I want to live didn't know it at the time videos coming got the project started patches has a new life and uh, we just got a whole lot of awesomeness coming up with our travels to Montana probably Arizona more than likely Arizona there's actually a really awesome restaurant or uh, actually a bakery down there called proof they have a channel proof bread a really awesome channel I've never never thought I would be interested in bread making but this guy makes it extremely interesting and the videos are addicting and relaxing and it's just yeah I never thought I would be into bread making so anyway proof bread down in Arizona I have another reason to go there now but first things first we're getting to Montana 
Arizona and other states later on. Thank you very much everybody who has pitched in to contribute to the channel and help get the videos made. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. We will see you in the next upcoming repair videos. Have a wonderful day.